Now pull your tongue in and do it through the nose. <laughs> <laughs> My breakup was hard because I loved her. It's hard to forgive myself. Is what I'm doing with my life good enough, meaningful enough? Who are you? What's the deeper truth? Let's do it. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> yoga we say is the yoga of awareness. So when we practice Kundalini yoga, we don't go for strength or flexibility. We use breathing techniques, we use rhythmic motion, and we use sound. We do a lot of chanting. So I wanted to start off with a question for you both is, uh, if you have an intention, you have a thought, you want to change, you want to achieve something, what's stopping you? Humanity. Humanity. What do you think, Natalie? Bad habits. Part of being human is we generate habits. And if we want to make a change, we have to overcome those habits. The practice of Kundalini Yoga kind of lets us have the sort of inner juice to make the changes, to overcome those habits. So if you practice it regularly, it'll give you a physiological support to take the good ideas and the good advice that all these other experts can give you and take it from a, just a mental thought I want this, or this is a good idea, into making it a practical reality in your life. Sometimes the people who have been meditating the longest or have been exploring spirituality for longer are unrelatable. And I'm like, uh, oh my gosh, is that where I'm going? Am I gonna be an unrelatable, you know, happy spirit person? This breath of fire is a rapid breath in and out through the nose. And the best way to feel it is to actually stick your tongue out and pant like a dog. Get that feeling up here. Now pull your tongue in and do it through the nose. Good, keep going, I wanna listen. Great, fantastic, you can stop. Okay, so that's Breath of Fire. The Kundalini was esoteric, but I liked it. I would do it, I just would do it with like a lot of other people to drown out my own breath sound. That rhythmic stimulation of the diaphragm stimulates the vagus nerve, which is the part that helps us get calm. Let's practice it in a posture for a little bit. So see if you can put your arms up, curl the fingers into the mounds at the base of the fingers, and kind of point the thumbs up towards each other. And then just close your eyes down and begin that breath of fire. Me and Natalie could not stop laughing. This is, I was like, Lord, if snot flies out of my nose, I'm not gonna be able to contain myself. It, it was so funny. Sut, nam, sut, nam, sut, nam, sut, nam, sut, nam. He said, sit nam was gonna be so strong. And I'm like, yeah, strong time, sit nam, sut, nam. It just didn't add up for me. I was like, yeah, what are we doing? And then this is, the deep relaxation. That's the only reason I kept coming back to yoga class. The whole class that was like, eh, whatever. But I, we would do 20 minutes of just shh, out. It's okay if with regular practice, I can make the changes that I want to make. I was so happy that my friend laughed first. This whole experience is about freedom and freeing yourself. And she, you freed me. You freed me to so laugh my butt off when he started going. <laughs> did you feel bad for laughing? Did you think he was getting I annoyed? I did until he said, you should go for it. You wanted to have fun. I'm like, oh. And then the last one, I kind of just let go. Yeah, me too. And then I was clear to relax.